Hello and welcome back to my office. Happy Friday. It's now the afternoon. We were about to go out for a walk because the weather was lovely and now it is all of a sudden you can't really see. Tipping it down. It's raining so we're not going out for a walk. Anyway welcome. Um, yeah I shared yesterday I pulled out five items that weren't going back on the shelves until I listed them. Um, that's going okay, everything is drafted, ready to go. I have been busy. Uh, this Vaporetto is now all shiny and clean. That is ready for its pictures. Um, yeah, what did I change? Oh yeah, the these I have actually gone higher because I did some more research and there were there were a few listed, but they were higher than the one that had sold. I think I found one of these placemat sets that had sold for about £11 or something. But the few that are on are, are priced all the way up to 20 to 30 So I'm going to go a bit higher. I can't remember exactly what I decided. And I think I bumped up the price a bit on these as well, the Dickens ones. Um, so, yeah, everything else is all drafted. And I've just been setting up the PS1 and this N64. Now I've had this cartridge, let me show you, for quite a while now. Uh, this actually belongs to Alan who's a viewer and a friend. Um, and I picked up an N64 specifically to test this. This is something very unusual, quite rare, potentially quite valuable. So I picked up an N64 to test it, couldn't make it work. And I keep, I've been putting it off and, and trying to figure it out. Um, eventually, um, earlier, I figured that the lead I had, the TV lead, wasn't working. Sourced another one and finally, I'll show you in a sec, this works so I can actually get it sold. But let me show you the PlayStation because I've done a fix on that. Okay, so here is the PS1. Uh, this is the, the reissued smaller little curved edge version. Really like these consoles, very cool. Um, now it had an issue where the eject wasn't catching. This would just ping back open. So it was fairly easy fix. Um, I had to unscrew the back. It's only got um, normal Phillips screws on the back. It's fairly simple. I think there's five screws. Take it apart. I cleaned out inside of here. There was just some gunge stopping the spring from doing its thing and springing back. So that now is working. So uh, let's see if we get any joy from this. Now. Is it on the right channel? Doesn't look like it. There we go. I tend to find with PS1s, touch woods, I rarely have an issue. Uh, it's the same with N64s. Um, they're fairly bulletproof these. It's not the same with PS2s. I have loads of bother with PS2s. Okay, I just saw a start screen. There we go. Psygnosis. I used to love Psygnosis back in the 80s and 90s. This is Formula One. There we go. So that seems to be functioning. Happy days. So let me boot this up as well. Um, and I'll show you what is on this uh, like promo cut. Okay, so... Why has that not come on? What's happening? This was working. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Don't do that. What's going on? One or two. Hmm. Confused. Confused of hitching. Okay, we got there. It's running. So it has uh, WWF. Um, I can't remember which one now. Uh, 
No Mercy. There you go. So this was a, a promotional cart that would have a pre-release copy of the game on it and it would be sent to magazines and reviewers uh, ahead of the release. Um, and then they were rewritable from what I understand. So these would go back to the developers and they would put different games on and send them out when they were releasing another game. So there's very few in existence. They're very collectible. And uh, as you can see, this one is running No Mercy. There we go, and it's all running just right. Is that, the <laughs> is that meant to be the rock? Wow. Excellent. So I'm thinking I'm going to do a video about this uh, because there's also a little bit of backstory. Um, well, firstly, of how I came to have it in my possession. And I think I know a little bit of the history of this as well. Um, so yeah, if I get time, I'm going to make a video specifically about that. But I'm just pleased. I've seen it running. I know what's on it and uh, it can be sold now. Right, it's lunchtime. Well, I'm nearly finished, actually. Um, I thought while I'm sat here and I have some orders ready to go, I will share with you. Have I got mayonnaise around my mouth? No? Okay. Um, so, yeah, the media um, has been amazing. Um, and a lot of it has been going to viewers, which is, which is fantastic. Um, there's a few messages... Um, so I'll read some of those as we go and I'll share some of the stuff. So if I move you around a little bit, does that work? Maybe. There we go. Uh, so, uh, yeah, media. James, best of us sold. Um, most of this media, I will keep saying this, there's not big value in it. Don't think you'll get rich quick selling media. There are exceptions. But most media, as in CDs and DVDs is what I'm talking about here, doesn't hold a lot of value. That, for example, was $4.99. But they ship as a large letter, so postage is minimal. So there is some money in it, but don't think it's a, a, a route to making loads of money fast. Um, right, and then there's some clothing of Andrea's. I haven't got any of Andrea's bits in here at the moment. I've just picked what's on my shelves here. Uh, Pet Shop Boys, now, this is a very nice bundle of five now i bought a job lot of pet shop boys stuff again last week uh, had a load of singles in it that i wanted for my collection i own all of the pet shop boys albums so these i just put straight back on ebay and i got back what i paid for the whole bundle making my cd singles for my collection free essentially so yeah it I enjoy it. it keeps me happy uh, so we have their classic debut please we have very from 93 behavior which i think was 1990 introspective 88 pet shop boys discography 91 uh, and that little bundle was uh 15 pounds plus the shipping on that because this won't go as a large letter so I'm adding shipping onto that because it's a significant amount. So they paid 18. Um, oh, and the same buyer, there's no message. I don't know if it's a viewer, also bought Phil Collins, but seriously. So yeah, really nice Pet Shop Boys bundle there. The condition is minty fresh on those. Um, right, a cube. Um, oh, it's here. Little curved one. Um, starting to get quite low on those. Which is amazing considering how many hundreds of these curved ones we had in the, at the beginning. Um, right, let me read a message. Hi Nick and Andrea, I stumbled upon your YouTube channel a couple of weeks ago and have become hooked. The lifestyle you've created for yourselves is quite inspiring. Thought I'd give the V-Cube 2 a go. Start small. <laughs> but I have my eyes on the black and white V-Cube 7. Yeah, the big one. Bit of a challenge that. They look so cool, they do. Uh, thanks for the entertaining YouTube channel from another Nick. So that's from another Nick. Hi Nick, thank you so much. Yeah, start small. <laughs> I said this recently, they are not as easy as they might look. And then a little bundle of CDs. We have James Blunt, 
uh, some kind of trouble. The Cranberries uh, bury the hatchet and audio slave. This has Kachis on it. First track, what an opener to an album. Absolutely mind blowing. Great album that. Um, and that's from Aaron says, Hi Nick and Andrew, I've been watching for a few years now and every video gives me more useful information and tips that I apply and use for my own eBay store. Fantastic. Um, thanks for the years of helpful... Uh, yeah, I'll try that again. Thanks for the years of helpful content. Stay safe. That's Aaron. So thank you, Aaron. Enjoy the music. Yeah. Cochise. If you haven't checked out Audio Slave, Cochise, punch it into YouTube. The video as well is epic. Um, yeah. It's basically what Rage Against the Machine became. Um, yeah. Anyway. Um, and then another quick message. Hi, Nick and Andrea. Both me and my wife love your channel. Would love a little mention for me and Reese. And my wife, Kim. Fantastic. Well, there you go. And you have bought a Top Gear Rock Ballads double album. Perfect for the car. Loads of classics on here. Oh, it's got St. Etienne on it. Radiohead. Yeah. Simple Minds. All sorts of good stuff on there. Thank you so much for that, uh, Reese and Kim. And then we've sold a Little Boots album. Oh, this is threatening to run out of battery on me. <laughs> Little Boots album. I was playing this only yesterday. Really enjoy it. Um, so, yep, yeah, no message on that one. And then, hi, Nick and Andrea. After watching many YouTube videos, I decided to buy some items um, of interest. The movie is for my wife. Never ending story. Uh, it's one of her favourite teen movies. You guys rock. Stay safe. That's from Sebastian. Wow, I'm not going to attempt your surname. Seb we'll just stick with Sebastian. <laughs> oh, and you also bought um, The Prodigy. Oh my goodness, this album holds so many, many memories for me. I bought this album when I just learnt to drive in 97. So it's one of the first albums that I would be blaring out of my car my really crappy little Ford Escort that I had at the time. Just, it's classics from beginning to end. There's not really a, a duff track on there. It is, it's their masterpiece, in my humble opinion. Um, so there we go. Thank you, Sebastian. Uh, then we've sold some more. Uh, Christina, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Stadium Arcadium. Another Christina, they're going to Adam. No message on that. I don't know if you're a viewer. If you are, thank you. Um, Hisham uh, says, thanks for the nostalgia trip. Hi, Hisham. Um, Stone Temple Pilots. Oh, my goodness. Love that. Uh, Foo Fighters, In Your Honour, double album. And four garbage albums. Version 2.0. Uh, Let It Bleed. Need to get rid of that sticker. Their classic debut. Oh my God, I was obsessed with this when it came out. And Beautiful Garbage. So thank you so much, Hisham. Appreciate that. Hope you're well. Um, oh, some vinyl. I picked up a bundle of 10 vinyl LPs and 12 inches on a jumble trail thing. They were 50 pence each. I basically grabbed everything that looked interesting. Uh, this Luke Rainsford LP certainly looked interesting because it's bright yellow <laughs> and it's translucent look at that you can actually it's see-through you can't really tell there um quite an obscure um artist but i think this is the last no i've got one left i've got one of the 10 left i paid a fiver 50 ph for 10 this has gone for £16, and I sent a few bits into Zifit or We Buy Books, one of those, and I've sold a bunch of other ones for around the £10 mark. So I did, excuse me, did pretty well out of that. So pleased to see that one go at 16 Um 
Uh, so some other bits and bobs. Let's find something with a message quick. Hi Nick and Andrew, I hope you're well. Long time viewer and now frequent buyer. Always look forward to the new videos. That's Connor who's trying out the uh, two by two square edge. Have fun. Thank you, Connor. So Connor has also bought Steve Jobs. Excellent. And oh, does it get any more 90s than Pulp's different class? Full of absolute classics. Misshapes, Common People, Disco 2000. Oh, you'll love it. And then we've sold a Madonna album. We've sold a Keen album. We've sold a 6x6 cube, which says, oh, long message. I've been subscribing to your channel for over a year now. I'm a lurk. He calls himself a lurk. Is it he? Alexis. Alexis. I don't know if that's a... Could be a man or a woman. Not sure. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a lurker and love it. So inspirational. I'm sending this to my cousin in America. He is a whiz with Rubik's Cubes. Okay. Well, there we go. I hope this takes him longer to solve. Keep up the great work. Keep smiling. Hopefully boot sales will resume soon. Fingers crossed. Alexis. Yes. Hopefully we will get back to normal at some point. So that is on its way to America. Okay. Fabulous. Um, quickly, I don't think there's any more messages, but we have sold a DVD, Disney's Tomorrowland. And then, oh, these are going to a viewer, but there's no message. Karen has ordered Kings of Liam, Minions, and Watership Down. Job done. Hello there. It's now the next day. I, I totally lost track of the vlog I was making yesterday because of the whole PayPal thing that went on. You may have seen the videos I put out. Um, that has all been sorted out. It was, it seems to be that the, it was an error with their little like um, update boxes which showed the total in and the total out or whatever on your account. That the system that ran those was screwed. <laughs> And a lot of people got the shock of their life when they logged into their PayPal accounts, as you may have seen in those videos. Um, so yeah, sorry for not continuing with that vlog and sharing me, listing those items, etc. Um, yeah, kind of got busy doing other stuff. But I'm just getting ready to go out because I am dropping off this lot. There's a load of parcels all ready to go. Um, so I'm going to run those up to the post office now and then have a bit of a tidy in here because it's as usual descending into chaos again uh, needs a real sort out look at all the mess okay so I will find a video and share it today of when we used to have a, a retail outlet and I used to have all of this setup of what I do the reselling anything and everything from the back of the shop I used to have a it all set up there and I used to make videos from out the back of our old retail outlet. So I will dig out one of those in case you haven't seen the old setup as it used to be. Uh, and I will link that up there. So check that video out if you haven't seen it before. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon.